Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family. Just thank you for the love and support that you're giving me as well as in yourself. You know, there are so many times that we can go uh, as empaths and try to act like we can save the world and we leave little to ourselves. But it's always good to have uh, make time for make time and room for self-care so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe hit the notification bell so you know when i'm about to upload my next video also if you are comfortable enough please drop me a line or two i love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your impact the gift and how it impacts your life and you towards a positive direction and if you feel like the videos are giving you good vibes or you would love to uh, share your information as well as the vibes with a loved one family or friend or even a fellow empath they're going through some trying times um, and need spiritual guidance as well as you know knowing their life purpose or even you know they're going around to the right journey uh, go ahead and share and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit Thank you once again for the love and support. It's so greatly appreciated. And I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today, uh, the music I'm playing in the background is called Reiki, uh, Healing Energy, Free Blockages, and Purify. And I'll post that link in the description box below. And the video I'm doing today is called uh, Twins 101, Hey Oka's Emotion, Emotions of Happiness and Grief on Knowing Your you're at the end of an intense cycle you are you know there's so many of us that are heading towards um different changes in our life that we've been working so hard for because there's you know so much that we've been probably going through and um in the last year or two you know things have been very intense um sit down baby uh things have been very intense we got to sit right there um for us you know we went through our ups and downs you know there's people that we had to separate out of our lives there's things that we had to you know take out of our lives that wasn't serving us in a positive um in a positive way there's a lot of things that helped us along the way that we no longer needed but um it is like right now it's like with all the you know different shifts that are occurring in our life i know a lot of emotions i've been going through a wave of emotions like a wave of gratitude um a wave of appreciation, you know, uh, emotion of self-love, self-worth, you know, all these things are coming into play for us. You know, there's a lot of times we experience really hard, really bad hardship and, you know, we, it's our downfall, but it's like something we all had to go through. You have to go through that pain. You have to go through, you know, hard times, stressful situations, you know, painful situations to be able to know the power we have within ourselves and anything that we needed the answers for is already lying in with us you know the more you do it seems like the more layers you peel back it's all like an onion it's like things that you know the, the deeper you go down the more peels you get to the point where it makes you want to cry sometimes the stuff can be a little bit strong you know if you cut some onions you already know and it's just like all these different things have occurred in my life and you know it's just the people that i'm helping you know there's a lot of times you know i felt like I didn't have what it takes to be able to help others you know I didn't know how people were going to take my videos if they're going to believe who I was who I was you know who I'm related to all these different things had to come into play in my life and I had to be like you know what you have to have the strength within yourself you know universe is not just sending you this way for you to be getting poked fun of um, they're sending you this way because you had to go through some tragic situations to allow others to see what you have gone through the things that you they had to endure along the way to get to where you are you know we all go through things we're not really proud of you know we have gone through a chain of events that has really put us in a really dark place and probably not a pretty one is that but it's just like you should never be ashamed of the things that you have done in your path uh on your path of the past you know there's probably people in your life that wants to keep reminding you of your past those are the people you need to you know walk away from there's a lot of times people cast judgment on ourselves which we're human there's a lot of things that we do cast judgment on but you can't cast you know cast judgment on people when you have not tried to help yourself as well you know you can help assist people but you know it's like automatic reaction at times we do 
pass judgment towards other people. You know, we look at their lives, but not too busy, you know, cleaning out our own, you know, and it's just like, you know, these situations have placed me as been such a blessing, even when it was hard to see it as one, you know, we have to go through things. And when we, we decide to take um, out the emotion of the situation, when you back up and be able to look at things at all different levels, all different directions, um, you have to be able to appreciate those times. We have to, you know, it's like when we were wanting to go through things, you know, you might be wanting to start your own business or you're working on yourself to heal so you can have a significant significant other or you want a baby. All these different things in your life all have to work hard for. And it's like everything has to be at divine timing when it's supposed to happen. You know, you have to work on yourself. You have to be able to have faith in the universe as well as yourself. You have to have patience. You know, you have to have that confidence and love that you truly have. You know, we as us as empath, we press love on everybody, but when it comes time for ourselves, we really don't know how to love ourselves at times. You know, sometimes you know, you're like, shoot, I love myself, but there's a lot of times we have put ourselves in predicaments where you look like if you really loved yourself, this would never really happen. But you had to experience that for you to know, okay, this is not what I want in my life. You know, you had to experience, I've been in abusive relationships. I've been in toxic relationships. I've been in actually good relationships. You know, somebody either passed away or it, it wasn't meant for them to be in my life. It was just a seasonal situation. You know, a lot of times we cast lifetime expectation on you know seasonal people there's a lot of times you know in my situations where I saw red flags and just you know saying hopefully what I do in our relationship will help them change for them to be able to see what I see in them but a lot of times we can't do that we can sit up here and put love out for people that are truly hurting but if they're not trying to heal, heal themselves you know I mean your love can be able to help them but they have to be able to do that interior work as well so it's just a lot of things that have came into our lives that we are starting to end chapters for. And we're going through that term of grief. You know, you might get to, towards yourself and you think about the things you have been through the last few weeks. And there's probably things been coming at you left and right where you're like, ah, dog, am I going to get a break? You know, there there's times that has to happen because universe needs to allow you to see, you know, what you don't see in yourself. A lot of times we sell ourselves short. When we don't see, you know, there's certain times things that happen in our life when we say we're not going to be able to get through this. I don't know if I can be able to heal from this. You know, you're not giving yourself that chance. You know, you have to be able to see things for what they are. And there's a lot of situations that come into our life that takes that process every day. You know, there's so many people I connect with that I, you know, I talk one-on-one. -on -one and I, you know, I had to be able to tell them from experiences of the things that I have endured. You know, what has helped me, what things that I'm still, you know, working on. It's like nobody's perfect. You know, there's a lot of times people are doing these motivational videos for, you know, vloggers or whatever. And they had to go through a healing process for them to be able to help others but the way my life is set up i gotta go through mistakes setbacks falling on my face um you know difference di difficulties for me to be able to help others and this is it's a beautiful thing where i can you know somebody comes to me and like rosalind how do i do this or how do i do that or how do i know these things or you know what do i need to do and it's just like thank god <laughs> they got people you know coming towards me of a situation i probably already have to deal with or, you know, universe that used me as that conduit for them to be able to give me the messages they sent from them where they're not, you know, that comes in their life, but they probably don't catch them because they're too busy focused on different things. They allow me to be able to connect with others or they send them towards me for me to be able to help them. And it's just like, it's a beautiful blessing for me, you know, knowing that I, I can bring that to someone else because I know what it felt like to be on this journey. And it's very scary, especially if you don't understand why you're going through it, why you're going through these series of events. You know, why does it feel like your life is like going crazy? Or is there anybody who else is going through that? Or is there anything that this is called? I mean, there's so many different questions that comes off in your head when you're going down this path of closing old chapters you know we're all heading towards that but we had to go through these shifts we had to go through upgrades we had to go through downloads we had to separate ourselves from toxic you know toxic things or toxic patterns or even toxic people you know all these things we had to separate ourselves from because when you're in that dark energy or you're in that heavy energy it's hard for you to be able to see why you had to go through things we're going through because there's sometimes it's just things we focus on can block us from the 
from the, you know, the love and the knowledge that's trying to come our way. If we're so busy focusing on the heartbreak, the mishaps, the lies, the mistreatment, the abandonment, the neglect, all these things, you know, so it, it's just like, we feel like at times we're not alone. If we at times feel like, you know, universe and God is not listening to us and they are, you know, they are, we have to be able to go through these things, you know, when you finally heal from them. There's a lot of times, you know, I got angry. You know, and I was just like, you know, why would I have to find out now <laughs> after my dad passed away? There's times I always used to wish, like with my situation that I never knew, you know, or at least I could have did something sooner. But it was just like the universe has me saying that you had to go through this. This is the way you had to go through it. It's a painful situation, but you'll see what's truly need to be said or what's truly happened, you know, once you get towards that certain point. Because there's a lot of times, you know, things go behind the scene, go on behind the scene in our lives that, you know, is truly a blessing for us. But we have to go through a series of up and downs to be able to get to that blessing. You know, you know that you're heading towards something, you know, you've been working hard for and it just seems like you know, you're never catching a break. You know, you're constantly catching stuff left and right. You know, you have to be able to go through those situations because that's where your strength comes in. That's where your faith and patience allows yourself to be able to have. You have to go through all that. So it's just like dealing with different things like that. You know, they had to be, you know, they had to be experienced. So it's just like when everything's said and done and you can finally see the lesson within that blessing of you having to go through that tragedy is just like when I sit down and I think about a lot of stuff, I'm like, yeah, it sucks that I never had to get this, you know, <laughs> physical, physical connection back uh, with my family, especially with my dad. Um, going through these things has really allowed me to see the strength that I have inside myself. I didn't, I wasn't aware I had because it's just like, you know, we never know how a person feels or how they would deal with things unless we're in that moment. You know, there's a lot of times that, you know, there's a couple of y'all have, you know, I talked to on the side and really told me the things that you've gone through and it broke my heart just to be able to hear the things that you've gone through. And it's just with the gift that I have, I'm able to get, you know, the universe allows me, for me, if I have to help you, they allow me to be able to see snippets of the, the, the you know, certain impacts that happen into your life you know, for me to be able to understand and how I can go about helping you. Um, and that's, that's the really dark side I don't care for. But, you know, I understand if I want to be able to really get to know somebody like that and being able to know I can truly help them, I have to see the things that they have endured in life, you know, no matter how not pretty it is, you know, you had to be able to do that. So it, it's just like a blessing beyond all measures to me. You know, my situation allowed me to humble myself feel like I'm blessed you know I you know a lot of people have came to me and told me you know Rosalyn you really have impacted my life in a positive way there are sometimes you know people tell me you know I don't know how if I, I would have been able to get through this if I didn't you know talk to you and that brings tears to my eyes you know I, I don't get a big head from things like that it just gives me a joy you know I don't feel like this is a job it's like it's being forced you know I love what I do you know being able to bring clarity uh, to things that might not, you know, it seems confusing at that time because of what we're going through and what we're enduring. It might not make sense on why it happened, but it's just for me going through that path and it had that guidance like that. All mine was like spiritual or messages that came through my dad that he has told me, you know, through meditation or just for him talking to me, you know, uh, telepathically. Um, that that's been my blessing so it, it, it just it, you know it just it, it has its benefits to it to me um, being able to endure it you know I can even put my stuff aside and still try to help people even when I'm going through it as well because I know what it feels like you know I don't really have family that I can call on or you know have that kind of family you know blood family that I have that support from either there's a lot of them that don't want to be that way because they they find out who I'm related to they don't want to believe it or they just don't care you know it, it's just a lot of time I didn't have that support the only way I can get that support is uh through my spirit guides my family that has passed on that you know that still come to me time to time and give me that you know that uplifting energy that I needed 
And, you know, there's times I actually sit here, you know, there'll be movies I'll watch and see how people has their family that supports them. And then sometimes it makes me cry, you know, wishing I had that, you know, but it's just like with me, I'm blessed because the fact is God blessed me with the gift that I can be able to talk to my loved ones that have passed on. Um, and they still, they're there, you know, behind the woodworks to be able to help me out yes. through the different things. So it, it's just like, allow yourself to grieve, take that grieving time to know that, you know, it's not like a sad grief, but it's just a thing that you, if you've been dealing with this uh, intense situation for so long and you're finally starting to see, you know, little bitty blessings that are coming in, that the universe is sending you. Cause there's a lot of times we put stress on ourselves and don't really see that it's already been taken care of until it's in our face. You know, we have to be grateful for those situations, especially if you know you're pushing hard and trying to do everything you can to stay strong, even through hard times, you know, there's things that'll knock you on your back and you're just like, all I am is trying, I'm still not getting that. But it's like, you had to be able to do that because if you know there's something you truly want and life is never going to come easy to you, you have to be able to go through, you know, mistakes or somebody telling you no, or is telling you not right now, but that that didn't allow you to keep giving up. I never gave up on the situation of me being able to go to, you know, get that closure for my family. You know, it's hard um, with a parent being in the public eye, you know, seeing death photos and stuff like that. It's really took me through a whirlwind of emotions. Um, but being able to help other people to endure these experiences that has came along in their life to be able to allow them to help to heal. Stop, child. Um, it's been a blessing to me because I know what it felt like. So allow yourself to take that grief where you need to and let yourself know it's going to be okay. You know, you just had to go through these series of events for you to be able to get the strength and the knowledge you need to know to go along your path. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of my video. I want to take a, uh, a shout out to Buttercup. Much love to you. Welcome to the family. Um, I know there's a few of y'all have left me some comments and dropped lines and stuff to me. And, you know, I got my granddaughter today, so I'm going to try my best. I'm just doing a couple of videos and stuff like that. So it's like if you have a toddler, you know, she's about to be two next month. Um, and she's very bright. But she's, like, very active as well. So... Um, you, if you know what you have kids and stuff like that, you will know it's, I'm trying to do everything at one time. So like and subscribe. Drop me a line. Let me know if you resonate. You know, uh, give me a thumbs up. Share. You know, hit the notification button. If, subscribe if you have not. Um, know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there's always some out there praying for your better days. So uh, send out and as much positive positivity, love, and light as you possibly can. You never know your kind words can really take somebody a long way. And I'll see you in my next video. Much love. Peace.